Hello and welcome again to Easy. Um, on the Zonfest uh, feedback and uh, review on the 310P. Right. Suspension, front back awesome. Only the rear one you can see some setting on it which uh, twists and uh, adjusts on the rebounds. Uh, smooth, nice, uh, but there's a bit of more than a vibration once on the bike. Headlight is beautiful. You off it and these two lights will be on. And when you on, this is the main headlight. And then this is the high beam. Brakes, front and backs are ABS. You can see that. Look on the Epizotus, look on it. Awesome. Coolant, I love this effects. It so fierce, looks like a shark. Yes. The body throttle, you know, got the cover. And I just rode um, about 34 km. And this is the exhaust cover. And they said that it's not, it's touchable. It's warm, it's touchable. Actually, the exhaust is from bottom here. You can see that part is the hot one. And you can see how beautiful they make. It's a single caliper rear brake, but it's effective. Surprising. We have uh, the original CST radio 180 by 55 17 inch rim, white alloy rim. Beautiful. The only thing is the exposed here, but this one you can buy a cap and then just cover it up. I love the huggers, especially cut which come with the uh, number plate light. Okay, and I think seat is comfortable. I love the seat. Um, my partner had sit on the uh, rear seat. It's nice, but it's useless. Um, I'm planning to take it out. There's only two nights on it. <sighs> Thing wise is nice. There's a backrest. I love it. Hey, like it's so beautiful, sleek and beautiful. Look at that. Alright, splash guard comes with the original number plate light, LED light, signal, chain. You can see. Nice. Very clean. And the foot pack, the real foot pack. It has a fresh, it's open. And then when you are close, you need to close it slowly. If you like close fast, it wouldn't. So you need to do a slow one, cap, and then you will close. Front wheel is 110 by 70, 17 inch. Okay, body rider foot pack. Okay, initially there's a three position. This is the third one, which is nearer. Second one, and then the third one for long leg guys. Like for me, 160 cm or 1.6 meter tall guy. Uh, this is fine. Only that I need to do is actually maybe I can add um, a riser so it's much more forward. Uh, and the original meter is connected to the uh, top and the bar cover. Okay, the length of the uh, stock handlebar is about 750 mm long. And the width, I mean, the, I mean uh, the height is about 140 mm. So it's a fat bar originally. In the top fork. Coolant comes with the cover. LED lights, 
LED, LED light. Uh, sweet. One cylinder, 312 cc stainless steel meat pipe. You see how beautiful the meat pipe is. I love how they weld it. So clean. Chin. Okay, all right. The coins. Vibration wise, is quite strong. Uh, initially, you need to change the balancer, a heavier one. So it's good. But I love the levers, it's an aluminium alloy, can adjust, you know. And one thing is a lot of exposure, hoses. They give you free sliders included. You can change if you want to. You have a shorter one, you have a nicer one. But it's a uh, plastic anyway. Even every part of it is being covered. This is rubber, this cover, plastic. And then, okay, this stated here, you can adjust the suspension to a lower. But I treat like, like I tried to open it, but initially you can see here, it's welded. So, what my idea I have is actually if you have a bushing. You can place here and then replace it down here so you will be much more lower or you can change the whole suspension to an aftermarket suspension i'll be uh, measuring up the suspension depending on how long the original one and then how low i can go and uh, how the rebounds are so i have a good rebounds because uh, my partner will always be pillaring me rough part because of this rubber thing then the screws this is a normal chain which you can get from China which is way cheaper and my bike is about 2 days old ok, front pocket is 14T and rear is about Research on it. <laughs> okay, anyway, nice. This few days is a warm weather, so tire quite sticky. I'm not quite sure about raining weather or wet weather. So, these are my reviews for these two days. I'll be running the bike if I still run the running in. Advice to be running once 1000. I got to change the first engine oil. Then I might can try a bit more speed for this few days. Uh, I'll be going at 80 km per hour. And I can feel the vibration quite strong. Okay. For the uh, switch controllers. Yeah, I love the monitor. It's like an... Uh, we have a handphone here. Okay, it's so beautiful. Okay, this is the engine on and off. This is the headlight, full light and then an on light. Okay, this is the eco or sport. Alright, this is for the seat. This is for the fuel. And this is for the handle lock and on off. High beam, low beam. Flashlight, hazard light, horn, signal, and this is for setting mode for the monitor. I'll show you right now. Okay, to start, it's just one click.
Okay, if you want to start, you got to clutch it. So, I want to switch. Beautiful. Okay. Then it's the power wise um when the bike is not moving it will be auto off. Thing. Check it out when I press. There you go. This is the petrol. Close. When I press my seat, you will open up the seat. Okay. Right now I'm not using it. Okay. Once you on the gate light, you will see the lights all over the place. On the switch. And okay. Let's see. Setting. For the team, if I choose the team, I press the set, which is the visual every switch. So you gotta press the mode here yeah, to move it. Okay. So Once you press, you, let's say you like to see the schedule list, just press set. This is casual. So again, change team. Freeze, press set, and this is move. Second set, third set, third set, sweet. Okay, so all indication here. This is the RPM, speed of Bluetooth machine is um, synchronized to my iPhone. So range, yeah, change again. Light, that's why I can see the neutral engine, ABS, my Bluetooth, my RPM, my fuel gauge, my temperature, my speed. Alright, this is actually for sport, or you can change to eco economy. So you can see the minus range 437 km. You can go. The other that's like a little bit travel, quite new, 68 km. And this is the trip that I can through. So you can't finish. flat like you know, traveling more than um, one month and then the bike flat this part you can charge your battery but there's another button which is uh, here there's a red button when you press there's a additional boost for one time for you to start the bike so once you press that you straight away start and then you just start and just warm it up it will be recharged so recharging right 
also voltage here 13.2, 13.5, 13.9 even not go more than 15 or 14 or it go lesser if it's like 12, 12 plus it's still okay you can still uh, on the bike and then warm it up either a little bit and uh, it will recharge but if it goes down more than 11 or 10 then you need to go to your agent to change your battery it's a lithium battery a very strong battery well improvised overall I love the bike um, I just need to change the handlebar maybe a shorter one a shorter length all right because it's long <laughs> to me 750mm long and I just find something with the same length height length and then uh, the width of the handlebar a bit shorter maybe around this short so will be nicer i can squeeze in through traffic other than that it's lovely and simple as that if i want to off the bike and then um, want to lock it okay you just press this button for a few seconds you hear the click that's locked so once i turn the handlebar it's locked Thank you for watching and the review of the back once the bike is uh, fully running in. So, get ready for the after review. And, ciao!